hiring net, so I know it's been more than a week, but seriously, just stop it. I was busy. Let's pretend that's a legitimate excuse. So this week, I am going to be talking about acting like a normal human, because apparently I do not know how to do that. Everybody nowadays is like, oh my god, guys, I'm like so socially awkward. <laughs> but I literally am the most socially awkward person you will ever meet. I'm going to detail the plights of living a socially awkward life. Compliments. A normal conversation can start like this. Oh my god, I love your shirt. It's so fetch. Let's pretend I use that correctly. A normal person would say, Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, I got it at Urban. It's so cute, right? Oh my god, I love your shoes. But with me, I just stand there awkwardly and I just go, Thanks! Hi. I know there's supposed to be this like trade of compliments, but apparently I just stand there and I basically just don't like anything you're doing. Even though I might like, like your shirt or Exactly. See, I don't know. I don't know. God, my life is so hot. I get compliments all the time. Ugh. Going outside. See, as an internet person, I like to stay inside. And it's not like I don't like going outside and experiencing the world. It's just like I can't be bothered to go outside. When I do go outside, I just ignore my family. Cue the tragic music. It's sad story time. Ever since I was a little girl, growing up in the streets of New York City, my parents would always stick a book in my hands and tell me to shut up, Caitlin, we're trying to go out to dinner. That's kind of an exaggeration, but my entire life I've read at the dinner table when we go out to eat, so I wouldn't bother anybody in the restaurant. And I still do it now because I just don't like interacting with my family at all. I mean, I talk to them at home, why do I have to talk to them when we go outside? Small talk. I am literally the worst person to have small talk with. My conversations revolve around three topics. Schoolwork. Basically me being competitive and being like, oh, you got a 96? Well, I got a 97. Suck it, peasants. You should see me play Jeopardy. Movies and other pop culture. You know, that new movie with Andrew Garfield. Oh my god, he's so hot. Why does he have an American accent? He's British. Oh my god, I don't get it. Why? Why did it end the way it did? Why? And lastly, I talk about various British people. As you saw before, my pop culture knowledge, I mainly focus on the Brits, but I usually focus on like British vloggers, you know, like Dan is on fire, and an amazing Phil, and, and Kiss the PJ, and Crab Six, and Pointless Blog, and Marcus Butler, and Thatcher Joe, and and cliff glitter and so well, oh my god. Basically, if you have an accent that is not from anywhere in Northern America, sorry Canada, I will never stop talking about you. I'm basically gonna find everything about your life. I'm not weird. Last but certainly not least, watching YouTube. So I basically spend at least 27.3 hours watching YouTube a day. I know it's not possible, but that's how much I watch it. Breakfast, sometimes when I eat lunch, and usually during dinner, when I'm getting ready to go to bed, when I wake up in the morning. It's kind of ridiculous. If I have any free time, you'll just see me on the iPod going like this. <laughs> Ooh, that guy's head just exploded. Oh my god damn, you're just so good. Wonder if I can do that with my eyelashes. This kind of life is awful when people actually try to talk to you. If you're lucky, this is how a normal conversation with me will go. Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin! Hmm? What? What? <laughs> Caitlin! What? I'm sorry if you ever have to deal with me. <laughs> so that's just a few of the ways in which I can't act like a normal human being. I 
hope you can relate to some of them because if you can't, then I am probably headed for a psych ward. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All my social media links will be in the doobly-doo below. So my Instagram, my Twitter, my Tumblr. Love you guys. 